Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to DreadFX Custom Builds. As you can see, I've made some wacky invention yet again for the channel. And it works absolutely brilliant, guys. Now, if you're an airbrush art, you've all seen these things. The pots where you can put your airbrush to the front like that. And then it's a cleaning pot and you blast in there. Now, these are good, but the things I don't like about these... A lot of the time you work with your crown cap off and when you go to aim to put these into these little holes here you always end up dinking needles and you bend your needles so I don't really use them I'd probably just use this as an airbrush hanger and use it like that good thing about it is you can undo this and you can clean the pots out when you fill it up with dirty paint so that's that one now we've got the dread effects version of it which is this one so same principle, you've got a glass jar to the bottom. You can take this top piece off. So I've been testing this out. You can see the dirty paint water in there. But this one's got a soap dispenser on the top, but it's a cleaner. I've got the Dread Effects tip tool mounted to here, and we've got an airbrush hanger to the side. So you can stick that on your table when you're working. You've not got to have a jar of water or cleaner. You can literally just turn that on like that. Grab yourself a bit of air. And that's your fluid in there. So you can back bubble. And then you can just blast into there. And you clean your brush out. Want another go with it? Just do that. Dispenses the water in the bottom. Quick blast through. There's a filter at the top with a gauze, so the air pressure that builds up goes back up the tube, as you can see there, back up and out the top. So that drops your water in, blast it in there. Dirty paint sinks to the bottom. If you want to clean your, you've got tip dryer, just the tip tools mounted on there, so they're magnetic, you can just do that. Clean your end of your nozzle and your needle. A bit more fluid. This will set as well. That's the minimum amount of fluid. So that's about, I would say, six or seven to eight drops. If you go to the settings on this, we're on level one, go to level two, and then that will dispense more. And that will give you half a cup. So you can do a little bit of back bubbling, clean your brush out, blast it in there, like that. And I just think it's a really nice, easy way of cleaning through. Nice and easy, all contained. This cost to make around 20 25 quid the actual jar is a jar from ikea with an aluminium lid this is a piece of 40 mil waste pipe that goes down i just drilled it through so it goes down to the bottom of the glass and then a bit of pipe coming up the side bit of um filter out of my filter bank off the top this piece can unclip from this, because this is USB, you charge this up on a USB port. So that bit can unclip. You can take your airbrush off, the tip tool unclips because that's magnetic, and then you can slide. That bit comes off like that. And then you can slide this bit off here, like that, and then you can empty your jar of paint out. There's dirty paint. So it all sort of clips together nice and easy like that job done guys it's like just thought i wanted to share that with you nice quick easy and i'll use this for color changing when i'm doing airbrushing now i'll use this for color changing so it's going to be a really handy piece of kit and it's just better than that some of these will cost you 10 10 12 pound so an extra 15 quid and then you can make yourself one of these you can get a lot more storage in this of dirty water and dirty paint. 
you're not going to dink your needle because you are you've got a big 40 mil opening there that you can fit your brush right in and once you've got a load of water in like that in the end of your brush just angle to the side blast down you can see the air coming out the top and that's filtering through your paint job done the only thing you need to do is have a little bit of paper towel there because you will get a little bit of drip now and again from the dispenser but it works an absolute treat so you'll see this being used in airbrush videos on now so when i'm working with the easel i will have this next to me and it's perfect for color changing no more tip dry because you've got the tip tool right there and you can just clean the front of your brush blast into there job done you fill this up from the top this holds about 250 milliliters of water in the top there job done usb charge you charge it up this will last a week dispensing water for you so that's my little creation today guys hope you like it you'll see it in the upcoming videos just a little dread effects custom build for you lot thanks for watching